science fiction is an incredible, rich genre of literature that is capable of forever altering paradigms, expanding our horizons, and pulling the curtains of small-mindedness back, revealing a whole universe of imagination and wonder. Many book titles tease this wonder, while others still are as much art as the words therein. Fuller and Wolf told us that we should not judge a book by its cover, and perhaps they would say the same thing of a book's title. However, that's exactly what we're going to do today, because some of these are straight up whack. Whack. So I've gone through my vintage science fiction book collection of over 650 books and pulled the dumbest, the cringiest, the most nonsensical book titles I had. Without further ado, here are 20 of the worst vintage science fiction book titles that I own. And go. Joy Leg. I know what you're thinking. Wait a second. That's Isn't that a dance move you do while in the middle of the jitterbug with your main gal? I hate it. I hate everything about this. Hate the cover. Hate that there's a pyramid stripe. Hate that there's a drunken hobo wizard on the cover. I hate it. Joy Leg. The Voyage of the Space Beagle. I know what you're going to say. That's a great book. Alien was based on that book. What, how dare you make fun of it? Let's be honest here. He could have picked any other dog, any other animal. And A.E. Van Vogt was like... I'm going to name this ship after a beagle. <laughs> What's worse than anarchy? What's worse than chaos? Anarchy! Tactics of mistake. This doesn't make any sense. If it's a mistake, that's not a tactic. That's an anti-tactic. That's the opposite of a tactic. That's like saying it's the strategy of screwing up. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Doesn't make sense. A whiff of madness. Now, I'm going to dislike anything that has whiff in the title of it, unless it's a bat or a ball. But, I mean, honestly, this one could just be the cover. Uh, everything else about it that I dislike. Now, then. Well, which is it? Which is it? The book of Pat that Ugh, don't you hate it when you get like a like a hair stuck in your teeth? Anyway, the book of Beth Seth The Infinitive of Go. Now, infinitives are one of those grammatical forms that I've never really quite fully grasped or understood. So maybe this is actually smart and I'm the one who's dumb. However, we do have a space monkey walking out of a space fridge, so who's dumb now? Who's retarded now? Fur magic. Hori finds adventure in the magic and mythology of the North American Indians. <laughs> the Sioux Spaceman. Same issue as the previous Norton. I kind of don't even want to talk about this next one. I just want to... You know, curl up with a warm blankie in my safe space and read The Sensitives. <laughs> the Non-Statistical Man. You, gonna t you plan on taking a census? Don't count him. Count him out of it. Taking a vote? we got a big election coming up. You gonna vote? No. Don't count his vote. This man will not be a statistic. The Year of Consent. Alternate title, This Creepy Guy is Just Counting Down the Days. Please be 18. Bypass to Otherness. Now, I really like Henry Kuttner, but he was well known for being a lightning fast writer who just cranked stuff out. So I can see him writing a book, shipping it off, and then the, the publisher's like, Hey, Henry, you didn't give us a title. And he goes, Uh, bypass to other, no, some. You are talking about the nonsensical ravings of a lunatic mind. Needle in a time stack. Oh, okay. I see what you did there. Oh. Do you get it? Do you guys remember a couple years ago there was that automated submarine that the internet could vote on its name? You guys remember that? And the internet named it Bodie McBoatface? I feel like that's what happened with this novel. Right, Suit McBear! Up until this point, none of these have been in any particular order. However, these last three are, without a doubt, the top three worst named science fiction books I own. In third place, Andre Norton makes it onto our list yet again with Ordeal in Otherware. 
The only way Andre Norton could be more vague is if she didn't have a title at all. Andre, tell us about your book. Things happen. Well, like what? Oh, it's a whole ordeal. Okay, well, like what's the setting? Somewhere. Oh, like somewhere we've been before? No, it's some... some other where. Some ordeal and other where. Andre, look at me. You're not clever. Also, if I found out you had 19 cats, I wouldn't be surprised. Number two, second place, Silver Medal, the second dumbest title I own, The Devolutionist and the Emancipatrix. Did I even say that right? Emancipatrix. Emancip Do I even need to explain this? And so we come to number one, the gold medal, the worst book title I have. Some of you may have already guessed this. Bumsider. That sucks. What is Bumsider, you ask? I'm kind of afraid to find out. I mean, is this Bumsider? Is this Bumsider? Is Bumsider a place? Is Bumsider a word for your posterior? Is Bumsider something you can drink, but probably shouldn't because you might get monkeypox? I have to cut that out. And that is a list of the top 20 worst science fiction book titles I have. But here's the deal. Though I have a fairly decent sized collection, it is just a, a, a fraction, a fraction of a fraction, a sliver of a fraction, which sounds like a book, probably is a sliver of a fraction, of the science fiction books out there from this era. So tell me, what am I missing? What have I missed? Let me know in the comments. Do you disagree with any of my picks? You're wrong if you do. What is the worst science fiction book title that you've read? Let us know in the comments. I'll see you all next time.